Hello everybody, welcome to the Sunday Guided Meditation hosted by humancolony.org and Huma, uh, Hukalo TV located on YouTube. Today's guest guided meditation person is Jim. Jim, please come up and say hello. Hello. How is everybody doing today? I think everybody's doing okay. I see thumbs okay, up. Okay, thank you talk. I understand. Uh, Kate, <laughs> thank you, Guru Dan. Did you have um, any announcements? Uh, not right off the top of my head. How about we do announcements at the end? All right, very good. All right, I would like to uh, let you know that today's guided meditation is going to be from Mother Gaia. She to spoke to me... Uh, yesterday and said she would like to do it, that she would like to be a part of how we move in our new energy and how we are um, feeling in this time of change, in this time of ascension, in this time of beauty and grace, and um, she is going to take over. First of all, Let's start with a few very beautiful deep breaths. Breathe in the beautiful changes in the energy and the love and the excitement that's all around you. And blow out all those things that you do not need right now in your life. Blow out those toxins, blow out those negativities, blow out anything that you feel that would make you uncomfortable. Let's do a few of these very healing breaths because we want to relax into our bodies. We want to relax into the spirit of Mother Gaia who is around us always. Even if we're indoors, all you have to do is look out the window and see her. She is everywhere. She is powerful. She is our energy here on earth that guides us and grounds us and makes us who we are in this life in some ways. She helps us through some of our difficult times and with grounding we can f understand some of the decisions we make even better. In with wonderful good energy and out with anything that you do not need right for this moment. Anything that would cause you to not be focused on your inner self, the calmness, the goodness. Feel the relaxation. Let Mother Gaia move with you. She's going to take you on a journey. She's going to show you her soul. Move with her. Picture moving into the earth through the rocks, through the crusts, through anything that you perceive to be there within the earth, the caves and the cavities, and even the aliens that are living there, move through them, wave hello if you like. Find Mother Gaia's heart. It is a huge, beautiful ball of golden light. And she is here now to guide you the rest of the way through this beautiful scenario that she has prepared for you. Ah. Come, my children, and move with me. Move through my soul, and what comes out at the other side is on the other side of the planet. Come with me and look at the rocks and the trees. Feel the breeze. 
Feel all the things that I am. Feel all the vibrations that are around this planet and that are a part of who you are. You vibrate as the planet vibrates as well. But you have your own frequency. Find that frequency right now as you breathe in one more time and breathe out. Feel the frequencies that are new. Feel the frequencies of timeless ages. How the wind has shaped the rocks, the mountains, the valleys. How the flowers have changed their beauty to be even more beautiful in this day and age. And find yourself gazing upon the waters and calming yourself by them. Look at the fish that are in the waters, the lovely colors, the beautiful grace that they move about with and then we will move forward let the wind take you let it softly move you let it make you understand its power its grace and its gentleness but we will also see the wind has much power it is bringing you now to the ocean. You see the waves against the sand. And you see the sky as dawn is being born. The beautiful sun coming up onto the water. It appears like it's right there at the end of the water, but it is so far away. But we are all part of this that is happening right now. Let the waves pound against the sand, the beautiful white and tan sand. It is part of my skin. Picture it, all the topography of all the earth is on the outside of my body and it is a living thing. <sighs> Calm yourself and let us go into the waters the primeval, primordial waters where life first began, or at least that's where you believe it began. There was life that was born there, and it is beautiful. See all the creatures, big and small, and do not be afraid, for none of them are here to harm you. They are here to coexist with you and bring about the light that belongs to the earth, the life that is part of who you are and what the ocean represents. I am part of the ocean. It is the tears that go up into the sky and cry down. It is part of the, my mechanics to be water and land and air and earth and seas and ah, fire fire come to the bottom of the ocean with me and I will show you that there is beauty even beyond your eyes where the rocks are carved and have fluorescent colors and the fish and the animals that live there 
are odd looking but fascinating and beautiful and where all things were born at one time there were many births upon me and this was one feel the difference the change of the energy in your in the water in the way that it feels all around you how it makes you feel light how it makes you feel blissful do not worry you cannot drown when mother Gaia is here <laughs> but only be a part of what you feel let us move on feel the energy of the ocean currents pulling you along for the sea is very powerful and gentle just as the wind is powerful and gentle let it pull you along let your body feel loose and light and let the waves let you tumble along under the waters let it feel good let it feel enjoyable let it feel free for I wish you to feel joy and relaxation at this time. For the new energies will affect you in the water, on the land, in the air, and around the fires of the world. Do you feel the calmness and the gentleness of the waves caressing you and that you are a part of Mother Earth and you are grounded with me in the water in that which you are mostly made of feel the gentle pool of the waves as we move forward a little farther and there is an island ahead and we step up onto it and the trees are magnificent and they're huge and they bear fruit and there's a slight breeze and there's a calmness in the air and the sun is brilliant and bright but yet it does not burn you but just gives you a warmth that is like none other and you bring it down into your whole body to your soul that golden light that you see in the sun comes all the way in, comes all the way down into the soul and it ignites a fire within you of joy and happiness, of well-being and calmness, of even wisdom. Because in this place you will find wisdom calm joy happy and all the things that your life is searching for because it is already a part of you now close your eyes and feel your feet in the sand feel your feet moving in the wet sand and when you open your eyes you are in the forest deep within the forest with light poking through in many streams and it is a magnificent sight because directly in front of you you find a waterfall a stream of light flowing through it a stream of golden essence within it yes I am letting you know that God is a part of all of you in your souls and a part of me as well and when you experience the beauty of my surface world or my inner world 
it is all because God created it with life in mind, with purpose, with beauty and love, compassion. Feel the beauty. You are the falling water. You are splashing down over the rocks. You are feeling the freedom of that movement. That movement that is so free and bold. And into the pools of light below. Where you see the golden light and the sun shining into it. And all the animals that are around watching as you as a beam of light. As a, a flowing beam shine into the water. Flow and shine. Flow and shine. Ah, now you are in the pool of water. And the stream is taking you slowly away. And you are moving around rocks and trees. And now we are lifting up off of the water, out of the water, and into the sky, into the treetops into the clouds where we can be lighter than anything on earth where we can find ourselves as condensation or small wisps of seemingly nothing but feel the lightness let the lightness flow through you because now you are a cloud. You are a cloud. And you are moving over and watching the surface of my body. How beautiful I look from the sky. How beautiful the earth is from a distance and also close. But right now you are flowing as a cloud. Let yourself float. This is the feeling of purity. This is the feeling of essence with the sky. This is unity with the soul as a wisp of air. Because not only are you solid, but air keeps your lungs alive, your body alive. So now, as you float along over my body and looking down to see the rivers, the valleys, the oceans, the trees, find it in yourself that this beauty is also part of you because you are part of me. Feel, as I do, the wonder of all that there is. Become it all. Bring it into you. It does not have to come in all at once, but bring in the river and experience that. And then bring in the waterfall and experience that again from a different angle. And bring in the trees and experience them. Experience the birds. Experience the wildlife, the small creatures as well as the large creatures. Identify with them as part of who you are as well, because you will coexist with them and their energy just as they are and just as you are. Connect with them in the soul level and see that their light 
is also bright. Find yourself moving into the rocks and seeing the history of the world as it was formed. How Earth be was once just a ball of energy at one time, and how it became something greater with the touch of God's hands. And that's not to say science wasn't there, but to say God and science are together. Now, just relax in this moment as you are visualizing the different beautiful things that you are seeing within yourself and know that you are a part of it all. I will give you a moment of silence to enjoy the bliss of all there is and even beyond what I speak there is. Now, come with me to some other places. The volcanoes, majestic and tall, lava filled with the heat of the earth. What is that? The energy of all there is comes in so many ways and has so many mutations, but energy is energy at its base, and it can mutate into many beautiful and wondrous things, and also be terrifying in its power. You are all these things as well. You are all that there is. Fragments of stars live within you. Fragments of the universe, of materials not even yet discovered, are part of who you are and part of your identity. Things that you do not know from Earth and from the sky are all together there, forming a human being, a soul, a spirit and all the magical things that are within the body where do the emotions come from picture yourself as joy what does it look like what does it feel like what color is it where did it come from picture yourself as Fear, where did it come from? What color is it? Where do you need it? Why is it there? But do not become anything more than who you are. But experiment with all these thoughts because they are who you are. And without God's ignition into that soul, what would you know? What would you feel? What would you think? Would you survive? Would you have instincts that are greater than the ones that you have now? Would you have love? Would you have identity? Would you have sentience? Ah, let all things fall away but your body and mind and spirit and soul 
and you are standing alone at the top of the mountain and feeling the cold air blow through your hair blow through your clothing feel it in your ears and your eyes on your face on your arms and legs thank God for all these sensations that you can feel and know and be a part of and you can be part of me too please become a part of who I am walk on me talk to me know me let me heal you let me ground you let me satisfy you let me feed you let me care for you because I am a mother and you are so many of my children I just wanted to give you a sense of who I am and now I want to give you a sense of what is to come and that is magical energy you will be greater healers greater thinkers greater mothers and fathers greater inventors greater skilled people greater talented people because you are part of that which is rising and I cannot be I cannot help but feel your energy your love and your mission be with me as I am with you in the electromagnetic field which is changing in slight ways as well in the abundance of energy that is coming from other places in the universe to be with you for all the aliens that are giving their support and their energies and light to you be in gratitude at this moment for in gratitude there is much power in gratitude there is much wisdom in gratitude all things are possible bless you my children and remember the things that you see or have seen when you traveled around me that is only a small part of who I am but is it a part that I want to share because I feel strongly about these parts the plants the animals the trees the flowers the water the land the air the fire I love you all breathe again deeply and bring in the new energy and the new life that is to be you the new talents the new skills the new opportunity that are to be yours that are to be yours and exhale all those things that are not necessary for your success in this life exhale all those things that are that are not necessary for success in this life and live
Hello. Some of Hello, maybe, Jim. Welcome back. Some of you still may be in your meditation, and that's fine. I will be silent for a little while longer. Fill your hearts up with the, all the richness of the earth. She is willing to give that to you. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Guru Dan. Thank you for that wonderful meditation. Is this uh, Jim or Gaia still? I'm. This is Jim now. Oh, I wanted to ask Gaia something about uh, her spirit leaving Gaia or leaving Earth, planet Earth. Is this true or what is it about? That you started leaving her during the meditation? No, she said, uh, we heard from other channelers that her spirit is, is leaving and the earth is splitting up. Yeah, she wasn't happy. She wasn't in a, in a good mood. Actually, she, no, this is not, that's not true. She's actually changing. She, changing. She's going, through, she's going through a change. This is a new age of energy and she is changing and she wanted to show you she wanted you to feel that changing energy as she was showing it to you. She is not leaving. She cannot leave for us. If she leaves, we will not survive. But she is changing. And she wants you to change with her. She wants you to move with her. She wants you to experience her changes with her. That will make it easier for all of us if we change together. That was awesome. I loved it. I loved it all the way. I didn't go that deep, but I felt everything. I have, uh, I have uh, strong feelings regarding Gaia, of course. So I felt every word you said it was beautiful. Thank you. Thank that you. was another guy speaking. He wanted to do this. I had no idea what she was going to say. It was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Yes, Mother Gaia. Is there any other comments or questions or anything? Thank you, Jim. My gratitude to you and to Mother Gaia. Mother I Gaia. went deeply Mother with Gaia. my power of emotion. I felt everything. It was wonderful, beautiful. I was just giving away the light that she gives. <laughs> She has a That's message wonderful. for you too. She yeah. said that once you start moving out of your, you you're you. It feels like right from here that you're in some kind of entrapment or prison. And she said once you start moving out of that, that she will help you in the world with much energy. I don't know about the prison or trap. I don't feel that way. <laughs> no, she doesn't see that you feel that way. But you're closing yourself off to some people or something. Ah, no. I'm just, oh, maybe I'm 3D busy very much. I'm very ah, much that's busy. Yes. That is the, that's probably yeah. what she's talking about then. But she said but she I wants do. to help you with your energy. She said you need some help with your energy. So that will be helpful. Yeah, I do. Um, when I when I shower, it's almost a month. I'm just in into myself to clean her up because of this ascension, and that's yeah. what I do. When I clean myself, I clean the ocean and the rivers in the planet. Wonderful. That's beautiful. Yeah. So that's why I'm not in a hangout actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see. Oh, that's really, that's what she's talking about. You're you're not out and about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. I love you, Much Jim. Much love for you tonight. <laughs> By the Thank way, Jim, you. what does she like to be called? Does she like to be called Pachamama or Gaia or Mother Earth? What is her favorite name? I think she likes Gaia. Gaia. She likes Mother Gaia. She likes to be calling Mother, yes. She yeah. just likes to be called Mother. No question. She feels I like feel a mother it. to all things because all things are born on her, you know. Yeah, I felt that also when you were trying to, you took you took us into that meditation. I felt it like a shamanic way, a kind of a shamanic meditation, you know. That, oh, really? That depth, the depth into it, you know. Oh. Thank yes. you. I did. God, I just have to thank you. You're so gorgeous. You must come every week, every other week. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. God, you get, I'm getting chills all the time when I get in touch with this kind of meditations, you know? My God, this is awesome. Well, Mother Gaia is special, and she wanted to relieve that one, so thank her. Thank you, Mother Gaia. Uh, I have another question. By, by the way, has the Earth split it into two as, uh, you know, the other channels brought up this uh, Earth is splitting into two. Has the split took place? It's It's... In a way it is. The yes. way that it's splitting in two is the good and the evil are polarizing. And that is a split in the earth. But um, as far as the earth splitting in two, no. Not literally. Physically. But in, not physically, yeah. In, in energies, yes, it is definitely splitting. Uh, are we totally in, in 4D by splitting into two? That's no, what the, no. that's trying to say? No, not, not yet. yet. We, haven't, we haven't reached the final state of our evolution yet, so mm -hmm. we are not quite there yet. But we are really moving up in our fourth dimensional energies. And it okay. will be very much as it won't be like a jolt, but you're going to find that you're going to be more fourth dimensional in the future a little bit longer than you, you are used to sometimes for some people, who those who can take it. Or can bear it and and love it. <laughs> so, I think the more we meditate like this, we are in 4D, aren't we? I yes, feel that. that uh, yeah. She definitely I felt a far away, or she felt here and there, and I I felt a lot of things. Michelle. Hi. Oh my God, that's so moving. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, then I don't know what's happening. Are you, are you all right? I think she froze. But that's okay. It's tears of joy. It's tears of joy. It's happening. Yes. And there's a lot of tears of joy lately, and I just love that so much. That uh, tears of joy can happen so spontaneously. It's really a beautiful thing. There's a lot of solar weather going on as well. Uh, yes. A lot of electromagnetic, um, our sensitive electronics are going to be affected in the next little while. And that is the truth because my computer is um, affected by every little tiny thing that happens in the solar system, I swear. <laughs> um, because today it took so long to turn on. Now, let me tell you a story that's very strange. I came back from New Jersey last weekend, and I had channel sessions right away on Monday morning. Or, or, and so I did my channel sessions. The computer was working good. I did them on Tuesday. And then Thursday, my computer shut down. All I had was Reiki shares. Do you know what happened? It dropped my Wi-Fi password. And why would it do that? It should not even have gotten my Wi-Fi password until I put it in when I got home. But it took till Wednesday for it to drop it because I had channel sessions that I had to do, and it was there the whole time. And then when I didn't have any channel sessions, it dropped out and made me put it in. Well, it's really odd. Isn't that unusual? But I'm going, why is it making me put, 
I, I'm going, what's wrong with my computer? I couldn't figure it out. And and then I, I looked in there and it said, put your password, Wi-Fi password in. And I was like, I've been I've been using my computer for three days since I've been home from New Jersey, two days since I've been home from New Jersey, and it didn't ask for my Wi-Fi password. It's been working perfectly. <laughs> So God does work in mysterious ways. Michelle has returned if she can finish her. Comment. Ah, Michelle. Has she or hasn't she? <laughs> I don't know. I can't hear her. I don't know what happened. Maybe maybe she's been uh electronically whammied. Is anybody else I want to say anything? It's okay. Jim, is your um it's a laptop, yes? Yes. Um and I took it with me to New Jersey. Oh yes. Look, you took your laptop to New Jersey. You are out of your and house. You, you are out yes, of your you, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So and then you come back. Of course, you need to put your Wi-Fi number. <laughs> and it worked for two days before I had to do that. It worked perfectly for two days. Like, like I didn't even think about it because it worked perfectly for two days. So when it finally dropped out, I was going, huh. "What's wrong with my computer? What's wrong?" Fortunately, I didn't have any channel sessions that day. I was doing Reiki that day. So, so then it. I I fooled around with it at night and figured out that I had to put my password back in, and I did that, and it was fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Strange. Should not have worked from when I got home. It should not have worked. Yeah. That's the magic of the spirit, you know? Yeah. He knew that I needed it. Of course. Right away. Yeah. I needed it it's right a away. sign. <laughs> of course, of course. Nowadays, whatever what is impossible and unbelievable is just believable and simple. Just accept it. It's true. It's happening. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The magic of uh, spirituality. Wonderful. Mm. Well, that's all I it's have for this. Oh, oh what you? So, James. Yes. Uh, I want to thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim, I don't want to. I would want you to go, please, Jim. Tell us something more. Tell us what you've done, experienced it at New Jersey. Tell us something, kind of juicy. Oh, at New Jersey. Well, I'll tell you a little about about my trip to New Jersey. Will and I went to New Jersey, and I met many of the people that I've channeled with online. And I, but I've never channeled with Montserrat. Does everybody know who Montserrat is? Yes, yes. Didn't you, didn't you record that thing? You didn't record it? Yes. Uh, you did. And I did this, uh, well, uh, my session with Montserrat was not recorded. Oh, come on. I only speak Spanish, and I had an interpreter, but I had a most amazing reading from her. It was unbelievable. And she told me that when I walked in from the car when I came to New Jersey that I was very protected by all kinds of angels and beings because she couldn't even see me because I was protected. And um, and then 15 minutes later, she could see who I was. Wow, but, that's an amazing story. God. But so really. That was really, really, I was going, wow, that's that's pretty cool. Why but, did you record it? You should recorded it. Really, we missed something right. big. Really, we missed. Like, Lakesh came to the fire. When we had a fire outside, and they recorded that, but it was only on phones. It was recorded on iPhones, and I don't know where those recordings are, but he was amazing. Lakesh was did an amazing campfire thing. He was I don't know what he did, but everybody was like amazed. So I have to I have to find those phones and watch it because I want to see what he did. So. There was just all kinds of healing. There were so many healings of spirit and emotions and so many wonderful messages for people. And Michelle was there, and she was – it was just overwhelming. It really 
and we danced till three o'clock the first night in the morning, and the second night we were up till one in the morning. Some people stayed up all night the first night, and uh, being an old guy, I didn't stay up all night, but I stayed up till three. So it was great. It was a very, very joyful situation. It was just joyful. That's all I can say. But everything, all the joy in the world, it was just bliss. Beautiful. How about let me have a couple of announcements, and then we can go off live, and you guys can chat uh, personally Sounds for a good. minute. All right. It's just um, events coming up um, tomorrow at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time is the uh, chat about lucid dreaming with Ray and on uh, Wednesday September 23rd at 1 p.m. Eastern is the Equinox live from Mount Shasta with uh, Ricky with Will we have those two coming up um, I think also on Thursday we have a channelers class or something similar I'm not That's positive so with Safira, yeah, that's for sure on Thursday, correct? I believe that they were they announced yeah. it for Thursday. I thought she wanted to do it the first week of October, but they announced it for this Thursday. I mm -hmm. haven't talked to her, so I'm not sure. But okay, if yeah, it doesn't Thursday. happen this Thursday, it'll be pending, so keep an eye out for that. And then the Saturday webinar, of course, with Jim. And um, there's a couple of more things in there. Uh, Sarah's Friday Healing Hangout and a couple of others. Um, I'm going to request that people begin really uh, keeping an eye on the Google Plus events page. Most everybody is posting their events there. Um, and the humancolony.org website. But sometimes they don't always match, so please check both. And uh, those are all the announcements I have. So thank you for watching today's guided meditation. Um, see you all again soon. All right, thanks. All right. Thanks, Guru Dan. Oh, thanks, everyone. Jim, you're not going to my...